What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here. Today what I got for you guys is my top five least favorite maps uh, for the top five Thursday of this week. Um, and these maps are gonna just be the regular maps, not DLC. And the maps that I've picked, I'll usually, if I see them come up in the queue for the next map or if I'm just hopping into a lobby and it's either the previous map or whatever, I usually tend to stay away from them. I'll either pick random or I'll, if there's a map that I like in the rotation, I'll pick it or I'll just back out all together. And uh, me and my friends, we don't like playing these maps. With the exclusion of number five, I'm probably going to get some hate for number five, but um, I have my reasons for why it's on my top five least favorite maps um, or top five worst maps in Black Ops 3. So to start this off, we're going to be with number five and it's going to be Combine. I really like this map when I'm playing with my full team of friends um, and it sh it's fun to play but there's the issue I have with this map is because it's a small map if you're playing if I'm playing by myself or I'm playing with one or two of my friends and we're playing against a full team we get spawn trapped too much and I hate being spawn trapped it, it's just it's not fun it makes it to where I'm not enjoying playing the map as much and that's all the reason why I'm, I don't like this map is because I get spawn trapped too much um, or when I'm coming into a game in the middle of the game nine times out of ten it's I'm lopsided on the losing team or we're losing rounds in SND or we're being trick shotted uh, with the wall runs it's just combinations of these makes it to where combine is not an enjoyable map when these conditions are taking place and now on to number four we're going to go with Metro, um, like Met like with Metro and a couple of the other maps on this list, they're not designed that well, um, they don't look that great either. When I first seen Metro, or heard of Metro, I, the one map that it reminded me of was Express from Black Ops 2, the trains and everything, but it doesn't play, and I know it's not the same map, but it's just, it's night and day, because Express is a really, really bright map outside of a train station or inside of a train station and then you have metro and it's really dark uh, I just I don't like the fact that it's a really dark map um, it just makes me feel kind of gloomy every time I see it um, and then like with combine you can be flanked really easily um, because there's so many different routes you can take like you can go under the main room you can go around and go through the water and you can just be flanked too easily and be spawn trapped. Well, not spawn trapped, but shot in the back really easily. And that's one of the reasons why I don't like this map. Me and my friends despise playing this map. Uh, we'll always back out. The only time we play it is if we get if we get thrown in mid game. Um, and yeah, so that's why that's gonna be number four. Number three is going to be Exodus. Now this map, um, I didn't get to play all too much during the life cycle of Black Ops 3 because when it first came out it was super super glitchy you could get into a lobby and then it would immediately error you out of the lobby and it was actually eventually taken out of the PlayStation rotation for like two months and it wasn't put back in until the I believe the second DLC was released um, if I'm not mistaken and like uh, the other maps it's just I, I don't feel like it's it's designed well to to withstand uh, flanking. It's really easy to flank on this map, um, and I just I feel like I'm getting killed, shot in the back way too much. And that's the problem I have with most of these maps is I get shot in the back way too much. And it's not like that with all the maps. It's just that these ones in particular. Um, and I feel like uh, yeah, and it was yeah. I just I feel like it's you're you're getting shot in the back way too much number two is going to be havoc this was another map that i don't feel like was uh, designed very well um i play a lot of snd nowadays um and a lot of domination and i do not feel like the the bombs for search and destroy are placed very well um when i'm playing search and destroy if i'm on defense I like to be able to, you know, lock down an area if we know that's where the team is trending to go to uh, on offense. I like to, you know, scope it out and try to lock it down to where we can, you know, win the round. But with with Havoc, especially on the water side, 
there's way too many ways that you can be flanked or even, you know, just char uh, charged at, I mean, pushed. And I just, I feel like that it's it's got too many head glitches um, to where people can be chilling behind a, behind a barrel or something and just shoot you and you can only shoot them in the head. And I, I don't know, I just, I don't like that it has too many, that many head glitches and the bomb placement isn't all that great. And now for the number one map, I hope I don't catch some hate for this, but my number one map is going to be, least favorite map is gonna be Nuketown. Now, when I first started playing the Black Ops series, I always heard Nuketown was a fast paced map. Um, and it's just, you've gotta be on your A game to play on Nuketown. And that is true and it's not, and it's not true. The original, Nuketown map played super fast, but there was ways to where you wouldn't be spawn trapped as much uh, but with and that carried over into the black ops 2 version, but the black ops 3 version I feel like it's spawn trap city There's way too many times where I've come into a game That's already been started and we're being spawn trapped or if we get into a game and the the enemy team just pushes and traps us in the spawn and it's it sucks it's not enjoyable I'd always back out if I'm ever getting spawn trapped on that map and I also feel like that it's just it's sniper heaven um I know I like to snipe on this map that's pretty much the only thing I do nowadays on nuketown is I'll snipe um just because it's really easy to snipe into each of the houses it's easy to snipe down on the cars um and it's easy to snipe in one of the the van the big buses uh, but this map it's just I don't know it's I feel like this is the worst incarnation of this map out of the entire black ops franchise and I hope I don't catch any hate for that but this is just my thoughts and opinions on these maps but that's going to do it for this uh, episode guys if you enjoyed it smash that like button comment in the comment section what your least uh, favorite maps are in this game and if you're new to the channel Thank you for uh, watching my videos, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Um, and as always, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video.